So I wanted to speak about deliberate intention and affirmational intentions to the subconscious mind. Um, What's been coming up quite a lot recently in the things that I've been listening to is the fact of being so non-resistant to whatever shows up in your reality because you have already made a subconscious intention or decision about something this is the way it is so it might be something like everything always works out for me or I am my ideal now or my vision my goal is already done everything is just playing out and when you send that strong intention or conviction to the subconscious mind you can then also just relax and things just play out um and again Neville calls it the bridge of incidents um Joseph Rodriguez has been talking recently about the concept of Mushin which is from the book The Unfettered Mind and Mushin is really about uh, no mind or stillness of mind and it's about becoming the observer, becoming the observer of what is happening in our reality and our experience. So say if we have a vision or a goal, um, we want to be married for example, that is our vision or our goal, Um, but presently we're not. And we've been assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled, and we made a decision that, in fact, we already are right now. Things will show up in your experience to help you to remove all of those beliefs that um, are standing in the way of that. Um, and things are sort of playing out ideally. And the only way that you wouldn't get that is to attach yourself to your negative beliefs or attach yourself to the idea of suffering or that things aren't going and in the way that you particularly want them to go so in other words you try and force or control the situation as to how you think it should play out rather than making that subconscious decision and letting things play out effectively um Again, I think I've mentioned it quite a bit, but it's about flowing, not forcing. And when you come to this place of mushin, uh, no mind within yourself, you've already set the intention, right? Um, As um, Edward Art and Neville Goddard says, no one to change but self. So we go within, we change the belief, we make subconscious decisions. And if we don't necessarily believe it we can continue to impress the subconscious mind with that belief with that feeling and carry the mood um and then how we kind of move and easily flow towards that experience in an effortless way is to do something that uh, bruce lee talks about which is to be like water bruce lee talks about be like water my friend and what what does that mean be like water It means having a fluidity of mind, Um, fluidity of mind to stand apart from your beliefs, your perceptions, your projections, your even your sense of identity or who you used to think you were and um, be open to possibility and be open to the fact that maybe the way that you've always looked at things might not be correct or the sometimes the stories that you've told yourself about particular situations might not be correct and you can start telling yourself a different story based upon the perspective of love based upon the fact that the divine intelligence divine love within us that expresses through us is always guiding us for our highest good and um if you're into Abraham Hicks and things like that, they talk about segment intending. They've got a process called segment intending and you can do this, um, I guess, on a small scale. Um, so it's just about, say you're going into a new experience, say you're going to the shops and you want to find a particular item because you're going out in the evening and you've got it in mind that you want you set the intention strongly that you have it and then you can just let it go out of your mind and 
see what happens and just trust that's the main thing just trust just be like it's I'm gonna find it I'm gonna get it it's gonna come to me um and it can be done easily with small things I know a lot of people have used it with like car parking spaces and things like that but It's just a good way to test out the power of our intention and test out the power of our decision when we have a just a an inner conviction and we speak to the subconscious because the subconscious takes on everything that we're already saying to ourselves our inner dialogue it's always listening to us and it will always accept what we believe is true our subconscious doesn't take a joke (laughs) you know it completely absorbs everything that you believe so we are the only suggester and interpreter in mind so it doesn't even really matter whether you're going to the shops with somebody else and they're like you're not going to find that jacket that you wanted it's probably not going to be here because you know the shops are changing their season or clothes or something you know it doesn't really matter what the external says it's about your feeling and belief um and yeah making that fluidity of mind um a priority really because when we have that fluidity of mind we aren't repelling we're not trying to force or control circumstances and um yeah there's there's some amazing stories um I think even in Neville Goddard's books he talks about a girl that wanted um some bananas or something and she just made the decision that she was going to get these bananas and her mum was like the shops are short I can't get you a banana um but the girl was like no I'm gonna get a banana before I go to sleep before the next day before midnight and the girl went to bed and there were still no bananas and the mum was like, look, I'm sorry, you won't get a banana. It's, you know, but the girl was like, I'm getting a banana. Like, it's, it's, it's done, it's fine. Like, she wasn't worried and she went to sleep. And then about 11 o'clock, something like that, one of the neighbours knocked on the door and said, I'm sorry, it's really late. Um, I don't know if you wanted these uh, bananas they had (laughs) it was a pretty random experience but then of course the woman said yeah sure and um you know brought the bananas up to the girl and it just shows that like the power of faith and conviction and when we give that direction to the subconscious mind it's just like programming a sat nav it's just like that's where we want to go and then you know just like a sat nav the subconscious mind will just follow that route unless you give it a different route so once it's done once it's been fed that suggestion you can just relax and let go um don't put in another suggestion to the sat nav that will take it in the opposite direction um yeah have that sort of uh, intention and um yeah see what flows from there I think having a conviction that everything works smoothly and everything flows smoothly, even if things don't ordinarily look like it on the surface, is a really good um, perception to have because then we don't become reactive. Um, We only become reactive because of our meaning and our interpretation. Um, and Joseph Rodriguez talks a lot about this, is what meaning or interpretation are we giving to our experience? What meaning or interpretation are we giving to our environment? What meaning or interpretation are we giving to that person, to that situation, to that circumstance? Something shows up and we will react inside. We will make a story about it based upon our beliefs, but we can always change those beliefs. We are the only suggester and interpreter and there is no one to change but self. So we decide what everything means. And we can always decide on the best possible perception, the highest and most loving possible perception.